another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, we got some big news today about the biggest name in the sport, Cadell Alvarez, turned down a lot of money. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, uh, share 3D Box, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Also, our second channel, Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, so that's near and dear to our hearts. So please like and subscribe to that channel as well. Let's get into Canelo Alvarez. Uh, he was offered a hundred million dollars for two fights um a two fight deal 100 million dollars to fight benavides and uh jamal charlo it was supposed to be charlo first on may 7th and then david benavides on september 17th it'd be mexican independence day weekend um apparently he didn't want the 100 million look he's gonna fight it said he's gonna it looks like it's not confirmed not confirmed yet Maval and Triple G. If I had my druthers, who would I rather see him fight? The PBC guys, Charlo and Benavides. Um, Maval and Triple G is fine, I, I guess. I, I think the Triple G fight is past its expiration date, but we'll find out more about Triple G. If Triple G takes apart Murata, then I guess he, he's back. Um, I, I guess the fight's fine. You know, the fight's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just. There are other things I would rather see. I thought Canelo beat him convincingly the second time. I don't need to see it again. Um, as far as Bavol, uh, light heavyweight champ, good fighter, a high-level basic, the Mikey Garcia of the light heavyweight division, not going to beat Canelo. Good fighter, right? Bavol's good. Nothing wrong with him. Uh, but he's not going to beat Canelo. We all know he's not going to beat Canelo. You know, the, the PBC guys, I think there are more interesting fights. And, and I don't know what Eddie is set to offer him. But I get it has to rival. It, it's rumored. And this is a lens. The Matchroom's deal is $80 million. Um, It's hard for me to believe. That's rumored. I, that's, not, that's not confirmed that Canelo is leaving $20 million on the table. $20 million. Um, he's taking $40 million a fight as opposed to $50 million a fight yeah, on average. That seems hard for me to believe. No one, not Bill Gates, not, <laughs> no one leaves tw $20 million on the table. I don't care who you are. That's a lot of money. Um, you know, and the, the PBC haters out there are going to say, well, these are, these are easy fights, winnable fights. He beats Charlo and uh, Benavides too, right? Like, like, let's be real. Like, he wins all these fights. He's the best fighter in the world. You're gonna favor him to beat whoever he fights. But again, I if I had my pick, I, I would say Charlo and Benavides. Who do I think is the toughest fight of those four? Mm, probably Benavides. But you know, uh, I thought Triple G was the biggest money, and I'm not saying the 80 million. That's not that number's not confirmed. That's a rumor. I don't. Don't quote me on that. Don't don't cite me. I'm not. I'm just telling you that that's a rumor. That's eighty million dollars. Um. So if we're getting, and, and I'm guessing the dates are going to be the same, May and September. If that's true, and we get Bavol in May, and then in September, you know, we get um uh, Bavol in May, and and, and in September we get um. Triple G three, I'm fine with it. It's a good fight, you know. I, 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 the only look, and again, I'm picking Canelo in all these fights, but the only really suspenseful one, the one where we don't really know the winner, is Benavides. I was hoping that we could have Charlo and Canelo in Texas on Cinco de Mayo weekend. That I thought that would be a hot ticket, but they're offering him the bag, fifty million dollars. I, I, I don't know why Canelo wouldn't take this. Maybe he's got a real bad taste in his mouth working with PBC in the plant fight. I, I don't know. But it seems like a lot of money to pass up. And I don't think legitimately anyone, anyone passes up $20 million. 
I don't think anyone leaves $20 million on the table to, fight, to take two fights. Do I think the Bavol fight and Triple G fight are easier? Yeah, probably. But I, Benavides, Bavol, Charlo, they're all kind of similar. And then Triple G, we're going to find out more. I, I think Triple G is obvious. Honestly, I think at this point, after seeing Devrachenko, I, I thought I beat him up every round. I, I, I think Triple G might be at least – the, the, the weak link of the four, honestly, but we're gonna find out more. We're, we're gonna find out more about Triple G. Um, so Canelo's got a two fight deal, it looks like for $80 million for Matchroom. Um, I guess it's not gonna be on pay per view, which is good for the fans, right? I think it'll be part of your design package. I guess I don't know. Again, this is all this is all, all, all you know. A fluid situation here. This could change again. None of these things are really confirmed. It's really just rumors right now, but it looked like we're going to get Canelo and Bavol and then Canelo and Triple G. You know, not not bad fights, not exactly what I wanted. You know, Canelo's going to get $40 million a piece. I, I, I would imagine um, Bavol is going to get 10 at least. Triple G is probably going to get 20 I would guess. I would think. I don't know. Um, so that's where we're at now. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for this? Uh, do you think Canelo, honestly, do, I mean, do you think that one of the, the is, is the PBC $100 million deal, is that a legitimate $100 million up front, or does it have to hit certain incentives for him to make that $100 million? I don't know. From what I'm reading, it was 45 for Charlo and then 55 for Benavides. Right? So it would be 45 and 55, which does, maybe, it's tr- I, I, don't, I, I don't know. That's what the rumor is. That's what I'm reading. That's alleged. Um, that seems like a lot. Um, do you, it, why would Canelo leave a uh, twenty million on the table? I'll I'll leave it off with that. Uh, let me know what you think. Please like, share, and subscribe. Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Blog. Follow us on all forms of social media. Uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, it is February seventeenth, twenty twenty two, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.